Next weekend, it's a deck party on the cruise ship. All games played on decks 15 and 16 will earn double XP. Meanwhile, the city hosts boot camp, where my players with a 75 overall or below can get some basic training in. That's it for me. I'll see you on the courts. the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Sacramento Kings. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. How Sacramento starting five. Sabonis is out there with Lyons. Then it's Mitchell. Then there's Harrison Barnes. And it's DiVincenzo in at the two guard. And for the Thunder, we've got Lou Dort. Favors is out there with Melodon. And it's Pa Kusevsky in at the four. For teams with a lot of new players, Greg, this time of year can be a real challenge. Sure can. And just getting on the same page takes some time. And then you have to build that trust. Weathering the storms together will help you do that. And it's the Kings to start out. Kings up for Oklahoma City. Roby, he's checked in for favors. Paisley comes in for Pokushev. And it's Captain Clutch in for Maladon. Then for the Kings, Rashad Holmes, he's checked in for Sabonis. Len comes in for Lyles. Davis is subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. And Isaiah Roby out of Nebraska. A second round pick, but boy, there's a lot to like about this young man. There is an intriguing skill set with Isaiah. He can shoot it a little bit. He puts the ball down. He likes to pass the ball. So in the team concept, he continues to develop what he can do offensively. Len, and it's Baisley with the rebound. For Oklahoma City, the last game was a loss to the Pelicans in New Orleans. Gets it from three-point range. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from me. The Kings have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Oh, Holmes in position. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Here's Henry. Here's Giddy. Target from outside is just not on. Get somebody else going. And Len gets it to go on the assist by Davis. Uh, pretty good concentration there. The more touches Len is getting on the inside, it seems like the confidence is growing. Pass to Dort. Here's Baisley. Guarded by Len. Baisley passes to Henry. No good from outside. 
Sacramento leading by six. The pass to Mitchell. Outside, Davis. Barnes passes to Land. Barnes against Dort. Barnes dishes to Davis. Shot clock at two for three. Mitchell. Dort grabs the miss. And so it's Dort with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Roby. They get it again. Giddy the pass to Henry. Side Dort. Passes it to Henry. There's the three. And so it's Sacramento with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. Back right after this. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And what do you guys think about the Kings here in this one so far? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And you don't see that all that often, getting down there. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Taking a look at the Thunder, they've got Captain Clutch. Williams is out there with Mike Muscump, and it's man in a shooting guard. And so it's Oklahoma City with it after Jeremy Lansman's. Pass to Muscow. Over Davis. Muscala misses. And that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Davis with There's the bucket. Davis. They're getting on a roll. And they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Kings currently have the league's longest playoff drought. De'Aaron Fox was eight years old the last time they made the postseason. And he says this is the most passionate fan base. So let's be special and dig out of this hole. As competitors, we want to win right now. But we know that we're building something. Kevin? Well, they've got the right attitude and close to a breakthrough, many people think. David, thanks. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And Brent, we're seeing a lot of new officials joining the NBA ranks. Any changes you see resulting from that? Well, I, I think this is a time for coaching staffs and, and team. And that concludes the first half. Kings lead by 12. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. the second half upon us we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be watch he's checked in for Melodon this will be his fourth shot at the line in this one the free throw off from Barnes when you look at Harrison Barnes shooting, it's clear he's all about efficiency. Yeah, he wants to make the most out of every touch, and, and he's doing just that by shooting consistently. He, he's clearly put in the work to dial in his shot and limit wasted opportunities. On the court for Sacramento, Miles out there with Sabonis. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's Mitchell, and it's Barnes, and at the three, the small forward. Mitchell kicks to DiVincenzo. And 
and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. This is his first chance at the line tonight. He's hitting his free throws at a pretty good clip this year, 77%. Muscala, he's checked in for the Thunder. Aisley comes in for Pokushevsky, and a change for Sacramento. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Sabonis. Greg, player movement is always a constant in the NBA, but with more players on the move every year, the power balance can shift in the blink of an eye. And we've seen it with the Lakers, right, just a few years ago. The Nets and a few others. Not everyone, though, loves it, but it sure keeps things interesting. Count that one for George. Oh, wow, four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. On the wing, DiVincenzo. He's covered by Muscala, and it's good, two points. Holmes got his second basket Harrison of the Barnes. night. Harrison Barnes out there uh, looking to involve his teammates on that play. Now the pass to Dort. Here's Baisley. Back to Dort. And it's off the back rim. No good. Sacramento leading by 10. Mitchell, he has seven. Misses from close. It looked like if he was on. Dort passes to Giddy. Here's Baisley. Comes up empty down low. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid it straight up and in. Two minutes remaining. Barnes passes to home. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. That'll be the second of four games at home for them. Fires the three. DiVincenzo with the rebound. DiVincenzo's got six rebounds now in the game. Mitchell with it. Now guarded by Henry. To the middle. Here's Wiles. Makes it off the glass. Wiles got the lead up to 12 now for Sacramento. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. And for the Kings... We've got Mike Muscala. Williams is out there with Captain Clutch. Then it's Wiggins. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. To the paint. A shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his third personal foul. 14 foul. At the line for your Oklahoma City. Taking two shots. Shooting two. That's good from Henry. Sacramento making some changes. Jones checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Jackson comes in for Sabonis. And Justin Holliday is subbed in for Terrence Davis. So one for two that time at the stripe. You know, the team struggling to come back. He really wanted all of those free throws. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's covered by Henry. DiVincenzo passes to Jones. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Wiggins finds Williams. Wiggins surveying the floor. Robinson Earl. No good with the wing jumper. 
So it's the key one for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Yeah, really an outstanding effort all the way around. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.